or say hey guys it's close welcome back to another video before we get into the gameplay today I want to share something that I like with you check this out what is it it's a wallet now this is my wallet I just happen to be in the market for one one of these you know the it's got the flip thing and all I really carry is some credit cards and some cash I was approached by this company the Ridge and they uh, asked me if I wanted to review their product they sent me a couple of uh, free samples you see that so you put your money under the clip and uh, I think I've got six or seven cards in here and that's all you need very minimalistic if you're traveling or if you just don't want to carry on a lot of junk and that's your wallet so you, to get the it's kind of like a deck of cards you just pop it up like this right and uh, you squeeze the bottom and th those are all your cards that kind of pop up like that and you say yeah I, I need this one and you pull out your card and then you put your card back in and you go like that and you carry your cash under the clip uh, I'll flash up uh, their website information here but basically uh, you can go to their website and check it out and if you go to ridge.com slash no fun for you that URL it's right here in the video description uh, you'll get 10% off uh, if you're interested at all I don't make any money on uh, you guys buying stuff uh, you know all I did was the the little promotion here and uh, what, what do they got here? They, they've got thousands of really good reviews. Uh, I checked them out. Uh, they're a young company. They sell online. Uh, they got free uh, shipping worldwide. Uh, it's a money back guarantee. Uh, no, it's, it's, what is it? It's free if you don't like it and it's a lifetime guarantee if you love it. So what's wrong with that? You can use my code, no fun for you to get 10% off. So how lucky is that guys? I'm, uh, I'm in the market for a new wallet because mine's falling apart. And then just uh, out of the blue, I get an email from a company that sells wallets. <laughs> it says, do you want to review our product? And I kind of like it. So there, th there you go, my first product review. They actually paid me to do that. But I, I got to tell you again, I make no money on if you guys go there and, and buy any of that stuff. Uh, you get 10% off if you want to. But speaking of lucky, speaking of lucky, it's like luck comes in bundles I got a new wallet and now I'm playing a game here in my type 62 that little uh, tier 7 Chinese uh, premium light tank and of course I bought him tier because you know why not why wouldn't I be <laughs> and uh, speaking of lucky let's just watch this game because when you're lucky you're lucky you know guys I'm not great but sometimes I even suck but sometimes I can be almost great almost great especially if i get a little lucky now there's a, one of those freaking field vehicles i'm gonna try and uh, explain uh well you do create your own luck uh, to a certain extent like that they wouldn't have approached me to do a product endorsement if i uh, i didn't have a youtube channel that was growing so there is that and you don't get lucky in the game unless you understand a few simple things and I'm gonna try and point out a few simple things okay that, that maybe you can create some luck out this is not one of the simple things that you need to know about how to be good at the game this is uh, sometimes luck just falls on your lap like uh, let's, what you explain what happens here I just hit him well that was a lucky shot that was lucky and now I'm like oh I missed what, what is going on What's going on? Let's let's watch here. I'm gonna try and track them because and then I can. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you guys see what's happening here? What the? And he's on fire. <laughs> this guy, bless his heart, decided to just gift me 1,108 pin damage, and now I got hit. That's the regular game. The, uh, the field vehicle leaps over the sand dune, snaps me, and I auto lock on him and shoot and miss because he doesn't render properly. Uh, you know, because he's one. Of, he's a field vehicle. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what is it? The guy with the erect gun. Hello. You can have my 1,100 HP. Of. No, oh, there's the field vehicle again. All right. All right. Okay. Let, let's. I'm gonna try and... Should I pause it here? Look, I'm gonna try... Oh, I hit him! Ah, good thing I didn't pause it. That was a good shot. That wasn't luck. 
But I'm going to pause it here and try and uh, show you something. Okay, hold on. Okay, now take particular note of the uh, mini map here. Look at my uh, view range circles, the white circle. I've got my uh, good crew in here, so I've got maximum uh, view range. And then the yellow circle is the, the render range, the, the farthest you can render tanks of the opposing team and take particular note of where the enemy SU-130 PM is. They're at F1. Wargaming's been nice enough to provide a really good camping spot for the enemy on that little elevator, right at F1. You see that uh, SU-130 PM? Notice that he's just outside my render range. Okay, and we have a similar camping spot that, what would it be, FGH, like H, uh, zero or so there's so wargaming given the the western team that f1 camping spot there's always people ready to shoot you there so when you're playing on this side of the map you notice they have a lynx running around spotting they got a veiled vehicle running around spotting why am i not moving up to chase him now and you notice on the mini map uh, we have a leo and a chiri they're gonna go push because there was no one up in the northeast portion of the map they figure okay let's keep going if I move up here, or if those guys move up, that little lynx is going to spot, gonna spot us. And then there's going to be uh, that SU-130 PM on that little camping spot at F1, and probably some other TDs that will just massacre us. And this is what you, on this map, once you win this north side, if you, if there's someone detecting you and you push forward, you'll get annihilated by those guys that camp at uh, F1. But... In the position I'm in, you notice they're outside my render range, so I'm outside their render range. I'm safe here. So let's watch the game and watch what happens to the Leo and the Chiri and me. And so I'm, I'm trying to hit this veiled vehicle. You notice the Leo and the Chiri are moving up. And I'm reluctant to join them because I can't catch the Lynx. Right? And I know there's guys here. Look, I'm going to blind shoot to positions. That's where the SU-130PM is there. You see, uh, I, I don't know if I hit him or not. There's probably other people there. I, I'm, there's always three or four people there, so I'm going to blind shoot you know, these bushes here. Did that hit? I'm not sure. I'm going to blind... And I'm spotted by the Lynx. i take a shot there. Now notice the my Leo and Chiri to the north. They're not going to be lucky. A and lucky... To be lucky, you partly have to try and create your own luck. See, they've pushed forward. They're being spotted by the Lynx. And who's killing them? Those campers, those TDs up there. I can't catch this Lynx. If I move up there, I'm going to get annihilated by those snipers as well. So I'm, I, yeah, I know I'm not helping my guys by, uh, you know, YOLOing out there to chase the veiled vehicle. But I can't catch him. I can't catch him. And he's doing a great job of spotting. So... You want to create some luck for yourself? Just don't blunder forward. There's the Chiri now. He's moving. The Lynx is going around. And he's dead. Both of them. Leo and Chiri dead. Not killed by the Lynx. I think the Lynx got one shot on him. But the guy, he, he was spotting for his TDs. And that's why you can't move forward. If, if, you're, if they've got a scout and they've got campers, you don't push into, into aim guns. The southern portion, my team is doing really well in the south. We're winning, so there's no point. Right? I just have to chill here. Sometimes it's best to just chill. But it ain't over yet. Uh, now the guys in the south have pushed forward. And what do I do? I'm going to just continue to kind of be a pussy here. And I'm wondering where that lynx is. I want to shoot this little prick. But I, I'm not as fast as him, even though I'm a... And this is one of the things about being a light tank these days. Like, I'm a tier 7 light tank, and he's a tier 8 light tank. Outclasses me in every way. We're in the same game. So I have no chance if I go fight him head to head. So I just have to respect him and just, uh, eh, whatever. Maybe I'll get lucky if I don't die. And he's leaving. He's going to the other flank. Let me take a shot on him. Can I actually hit this guy? I got him! Uh, but of course, Wargame has decided that when you hit these little uh, veiled vehicles, uh, tanks can't damage uh, cars. Yeah, the game is very realistic in how it uh, works that out. Uh, you, you, you can hit... Uh, one of these uh, little things with the rubber wheels with the high explosive shell and the critical hit. 
The game's 9-5. It's in the bag, isn't it? It's in the bag, but now all of a sudden, this little freaking deeled vehicle is uh, is causing havoc amongst all of it. He's doing a fantastic job of spotting, and now I'm thinking, okay, he's on the other side of the map. Wait a minute here. I couldn't move up before because he would have spotted me, and all his support would have uh, just taken me up, but now he's not here, so l let me go. And I'm not going to pussyfoot around like in the back here. I'm going to beeline it straight uh, and get hull down underneath that, uh, what is the last known position of the store Emil. And I can approach now. I couldn't do this before because uh, right about now I'd be uh, fighting the veiled vehicle and uh, I'd be spotted and I'd be annihilated. And here I go. I'm going to get spotted anyway, eventually, but I'm going to be able to get close. Oh, frick, that Lynx could be coming back. I've got to get right in here now. Am I going to get detected? Am I gonna... I'm a light tank on the move with great uh, concealment. Uh, who detected me? The artillery right there. Yeah, of course. I detected him after. But uh, no more fun for you. That's one SPG gone. Now let's try and take him out. Yeah, one. Yeah, And one more for you. Boy, I'm lucky. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. You... Oh, another SPG gone. And what? Oh, there's there's a steward. Do I fight? The lynx is coming. He's gonna be on my ass. I'm gonna go fight this uh, German. Big, huge German TD. Now you don't need luck to beat one of these, uh, because it is German. <laughs> of course, he's gonna bounce on a light tank because it's it's the Stur Emil. <laughs> he's dead. One of the worst tanks in the game. No! Oh! The freaking lynx just hit me. You. Okay. Okay. Let's take him out. Yeah. Yeah, and he penned me again! He penned me with HE. Well, let's just get rid of him. Oh, for crying out loud. I guess you just can't, you can't hurt those uh, veiled vehicles, right? Like the rubber tired tanks can't. Let's take the little prick out! Get up the ass for you! It's about freaking time. It's about freaking time. But look at this, I'm on 4 HP. It's flashing. My damage indicator is fra flashing. And I know this is a sure win now, isn't it? It's the, uh, look, at we're, we're winning. It's no problem. It's no problem. Where are they? Watch this. <laughs> he hits my track. <laughs> and I hit him. Uh-oh. Oh, this is where I fuck up, guys. I said, I, I'm I'm not great. Just almost great. When I have luck on my... I did not start running away fast enough. He's going to take me out now. But my team's going to win this, right? Team's going to win this. Oh, well. He's going to take me out. <laughs> when you get lucky... <laughs> you just get lucky. Another shot. Imagine that T20. He shot me twice. A T20 shoots me twice. Absorbed by my tracks both times. A little veiled vehicle shoots HE at me and pens me every time. On the move. This game, I tell you. And now I'm up to... We could lose because we've only got SP. But that STRV on my team moves up and does his job. And takes out the T20. It was closer than you thought, guys. It was closer than you thought. But victory! Look at this, guys. Ace tanker and over 11,000 uh, XP. A, a lucky ace tanker with 1,100 damage gifted to me by that uh, guy with the erect gun at the beginning. <laughs> when you get lucky, you just get lucky. And I made credits. Like, are you freaking kidding me? And uh, like I said, guys, I don't consider that great. Just almost great. It was an almost great ace tanker. It wasn't a great ace tanker. But sometimes luck, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. You got to create your own luck a little bit, though. Uh, yeah, I never said I was great. Sometimes I even suck. But those veiled vehicles, man, I, I, I don't know. What do you think would happen in, in real life if a veiled vehicle met uh, a tank? Yeah, I, I guess we'll never know.